enthusiast or buyer, cars or bikes, whatever you want in the auto world, it's right here on this channel. Subscribe now. So we're in not so sunny Mallorca with the new BMW i8 Roadster. Now what they've done with this hybrid sports car, supercar is taking the car and knock the top off. But what they say also is that this carbon fiber tub that this car has is so stiff already, they've hardly had to stiffen it up to make it nice and rigid to enable it to drive like a sports car. We have the car for the day. We may not have the sun, but let's just see how good it is. But first, let's look at what's different. While the basic shape of the car remains with its stunning proportions and new age surfaces, what's new is the part fabric roof. You also get a roadster badge and those attractive looking flying buttresses that sit behind the headdress. The operation of the roof is silent and since actuation is electric, you can close and open it in just 15 seconds. What's different from the hardtop car, however, is that there are no rear seats on this Roadster. There are also several advancements under the skin. Combined power is now 374 horsepower and 100 takes only 4.6 seconds. Now I've been impressed with this car on the road and the reason is it drives a bit better because there's a bit more grunt to it. Now the turbo petrol, the three cylinder that sits in the back, that's around the same, the horsepower, but what's new is that a larger capacity battery is installed between the seats. Now the size of the unit is the same, but the cells are new and there's more power packed into them. So you get a lot more drive going to the front wheels and that's what makes that little bit of a difference. But how has all this changed the driving experience? So we've just taken off from this charming little town and Right now, the i8 Roadster is in electric mode. And to be honest, it's pretty awesome. It's just whining along at low speeds. The engine's off, so you know you're running in a very green and a clean sort of way. And of course, you don't need that massive horsepower in a situation like this. So this is exactly right for what this car is. responds to a tap on the throttle almost immediately and this is because of the electric drive and the 143 horsepower you get the moment you tap the accelerator. Even the ride is relatively comfortable. Now this is a sports car and truth be told, it just shouldn't be riding this well over these bumps. There's some seriously large bumps here and as I drive through them, all I get is a bit of a pitter-patter and the i8 is rounding off the bumps so well, it's just incredible. It has to be because of the stiffness of that carbon fibre chassis. But the i8 Roadster is meant to be more of a bruiser than a cruiser. Come up on a lovely winding road like this one, all you have to do is tap it into sport. The dials change, that three-cylinder engine wakes up and then you just have the agility of this carbon fiber tub to enjoy to the hilt. Ooh, it really does feel pretty special, something very different. It's light, it's lithe, and it's... It's a very modern driving experience. Power from the electric motor and the turbo engine now seem to fall over each other in a rush to get out. And this simultaneous explosion of torque means acceleration is strong. Now BMW is extremely careful. They don't call this a supercar. They call this a sports car. And with the three-cylinder engine, the tremendous punch and the torque fill from the electric motor, it really does feel extremely sporty. Put your foot down just goes. There's that instant torque from the electric motor and then wind it harder and the massive performance from the turbo, the big turbo and the three-cylinder engine is just a 1.5 but with that combined output 374 and this light carbon fiber car, this carbon fiber tub, 
just feels super. The delicious balance to it. On a road like this, the i8 convertible is just magic. The harder you drive it, the better it gets, the more balanced it feels, the more confidence it gives you. The brakes, the steering, the powertrain. Would I like more power? Yes. But for this kind of road, this car is just dynamite. The steering is absolutely spot on. It's not heavy, it's not overweight. It just feels like a good solid mid-engine car, a single seater. And it just has a right amount of feel. This improves the driving experience tremendously. I never expected to enjoy driving this car just so much. I just want to keep going on and on and on. What you do need to be careful about here is the lack of visibility, especially near the edges of the windscreen. On this car is this A pillar. It's pretty thick and at times you gotta just duck your head around to get a good view of the road. So as predicted, the weather is playing up. The sun has been playing hide and seek, but what has been a huge surprise is just how good this i8 Roadster is. Now, BMW have done small things to the i8 driving experience. There's a little more electric boost. There's a fine-tuned engine under the hood. There's a little more compliance from the chassis. The suspension is fixed to the carbon fiber tub differently. And wow, that carbon fiber tub, even with the top lopped off, the part that's supposed to make it stiff, this car feels as stiff as a board. It's just come together so nicely. It's a special driving experience. Get this car on the right road and you can have an absolute blast. Yes, as BMW says, it is in the supercar, but for a sports car that's clean, that's green, that's half electric, this is just amazing. So what the i8 Roadster offers you is something unique. Open top fun, fantastic driving experience, and you don't have to burn up a lot of fuel. Can't wait for the car to come back to India.